Yo, how's it going, everybody? Probably wondering where the game is at. Hey guys, how's it going? This episode is brought to you by Kane's Chicken and Dutch Brothers. Kane's Chicken. Why enjoy eating chicken when you can jerk off with a tub of sauce? Kane's Chicken. The best way to clear out everything else in your system. Dutch Brothers. Because why have to guess if your baristas are high or not? So one of the things I wanted to talk about is an epidemic going around, and I say epidemic lightly. Um, I, I'm sort of, I'm using it for dramatic effect because I feel it will sell the video more. But essentially, it's it's something that I feel um, has has been sort of a common theme with a lot of reviews that I've been been seeing lately. A lot of a lot of uh, articles, for example, uh, Kotaku and Polygon. Uh, being being two of the main offenders with this particular thing and you could argue that it's probably the result of this this 24-hour news network society that we live in nowadays uh, But the same things are now applying to game articles you have articles and companies that basically have to make money off of giving reviews and news and So I've been seeing this trend where people will review something along the lines of, well, you know, say like Avengers or Deadpool. And one the one thing that keeps popping up that people keep doing is they'll say something along the lines of, well, I saw a missed opportunity with blank. And they will, they will then insert how they would have done part of the movie differently, or they would insert a uh, plot hole. I say, I say plot hole with quotations because a lot of the time it's not a plot hole because a plot hole is actually something that doesn't make sense in the context of the movie. Now when you have something like, say for example, uh, Thanos in Avengers, uh, one of the things that people said was a plot hole was why did Thanos not snap his fingers and create double the resources for everybody? That way everybody could still live and everybody would thrive and it wouldn't be overcrowded and blah 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 blah. Because essentially the whole theme of Avengers Infinity War is that Thanos feels like he's doing the universe a service by eliminating half of the people in the universe because resources are finite and we are using all the resources. So the argument is that why didn't he create double so that we could all still live? Um, while that is a valid point to make when maybe discussing this with Thanos himself, that's not a plot hole in the context of the movie, because the movie would not exist without his mentality of thinking that the easiest solution is to get rid of half the people instead of doubling the resources. Now if you look at it from a logical standpoint, in his head he's probably thinking, you double the resources, that doesn't make it any less finite. Essentially all you're going to do is buy time double the, the the lifespan before everybody uses up all the resources anyway. And also, if you have an abundance of resources, you will have an abundance of growth. So, you know, places where there are the most resources and, and the most readily available accommodations, usually we'll see an increase in population growth. So if you double the resources, you can argue that people will be thriving and living happily and they will then reproduce more and it will create the same problem not too long down the road. I'm not saying that's correct or that I would even do that, but you could argue that that's what goes through his head. So that being the case, I would see reviews that are saying that this movie is not as good as it could have been because of that or it didn't make sense because of that. Or when I saw a review of Deadpool and it was like, Hey, this part that they did here, this this little uh, cheesy, actual serious romantic part, was was nice. But I would have done it differently. How I would have done it, or how they should have done it, is done a little wink to the camera and been like, "Haha, tongue in cheek." Still not taking ourselves seriously. Now, valid. You could you could argue that, you know, Deadpool is not meant to be taken seriously. So why is he suddenly being serious in this one? Sure, you could argue that, but 
fact of the matter is that's not how the movie was made and for people to give something like that negative reviews because it's not how they would have made it is is something that i see a lot of people doing and saying when reviewing products now i'm not saying this with a completely clean slate obviously everybody has has a level of hypocrisy and i'm not any exception to this to this rule uh you know i've, I've done it plenty of times you know if, if a marvel vs capcom game comes out marvel vs capcom 3 for example comes out doesn't have that many characters and is 3d modeled i look at that i play that and i say it's okay but i would prefer if it was the 2d style of 2. You could argue that's the same that's the same concept. If you go into a movie expecting certain plot points or expecting certain twists and then they don't happen and you dislike the movie because they didn't do the things that you imagined in your head were going to happen, that's on you. But the problem with this is that you don't just have normal people doing this. You have people who write articles for huge companies like Polygon and, and Kotaku and Nerdist. Essentially, you have reviews coming out of movies that are painting them in a bad light because the person who saw the movie envisioned it differently in their head than what actually came out on the table. And one of the reasons for this, I think, is this this culture that we have around around media where they need to fill the extra space with something. They have they have reviews. They have uh, you know uh, uh, articles, what to look forward to. They have things, the you know, list of things that you should try that you maybe haven't tried. All cool, but along the line somewhere, you end up getting a bunch of articles that are also like, here's our predictions for this movie. Here's what we think is going to happen in this movie. Who's going to die in Avengers? How many times did you see that fucking article on on Facebook? You, you build it up in your head, you come up with all these theories of what's gonna happen, and then when it finally comes out, then you're disappointed. Um, Division is a perfect example of, of, of a type of game that people went in with all these expectations of what it was going to be. But if you read the description of it, and what it was going to be, and what they were planning for it, it's pretty much exactly what they, they told you it was going to be. Yeah, the graphics were a bit off, the, the map didn't look quite the same as the presentation, but whatever, so the map didn't look the same. If you played the actual game, yeah, you get bored of it kind of quick, it's kind of repetitive, you get to the top level and there's not really much to do after that in my opinion, but I still had fun with it, you know? We, we, I, would, I would go out and find a scarf and, and try it on and find a, a nice uh, floodlight that's out down on the street, and I, would, and I would have a little fashion show, and I'd show off my new scarf, my new shoes, dumb little things like that I thought that was that was a cool aspect to the game but the game got shit on so bad because everybody built it up so high in their head and that's just that's just not fair for the game go in with no expectations then you have the opposite end of the spectrum with something like No Man's Sky where that was rightfully hated because they, they, they promised things that they did not deliver on. You know, they said it was going to be a multiplayer experience, open world, uh, fly around on planets, and, and basically find new planets, name them after yourself, all these different things. And essentially, that just it just turned into another, like, rust knockoff, but in space. <sighs> I don't know. I need, I, need, I need to take a drink to, to cool my jets. Mm. Dutch Bros because why not pay three dollars for a tip every time you go i need to i need to learn how to organize my thoughts before i get into this fucking process not not to uh hash out old controversies and stuff but you know i, I take a look at perfect examples like iron fist iron fist the show when it came out on netflix it was very poorly received See, the problem with the criticism is that it legitimately was not a great show. Just, the show overall was just not made well. I agreed with that. I didn't think it was a great show. But, the thing is, I went into it with, with a negative perspective because people shit on it before it even came out. People were, were talking down on the show because Danny Rand, the main character of the show, wasn't played by an Asian person. Because... The idea of a white person going into Asian culture and becoming like the, 
know, becoming becoming the greatest warrior of their culture, being a white person, can be can, it, it can be seen as you know culturally appropriating. Sure, that's true. But the thing is, this 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 is a show with history. This this is a character with history. So what what they could have done is they could have changed it so that it, it was an Asian character instead of white Danny Rand. And they could have done that. They could have pulled that off given things that, you know, that companies have done already as of late, you know? Like making making Johnny Storm black, for example. Like totally something you could have done. And it would have been fine. I would have still watched it just the same and just gone in with a different perspective. I know a lot of people would have been angry about it, but I like to consider myself pretty open minded. However, the fact that they didn't do that shouldn't be a reason to hate on it like yes iron fist's roots are you know not ideal but that's the character that's just who he is and that's just that's that's just what people are used to so you can't fault a, a company for for staying true to the character's origins that's a popular character granted he's not super popular it's not like he's you know if they, if they would have done the same thing to, to, you know, Tony Stark or something. But I know a lot of people who like Iron Fist, so the fact that he's already that way, you shouldn't fault them for keeping him that way. Essentially what I'm saying is, like, it's this missed opportunity-ism, is what I call it. Where it's like, yeah, they made the character the way he was meant to be played, they made the character true to his origins, but they missed an opportunity there to rewrite his history. Sure, they missed the opportunity, they could have done that, but they didn't. That's not a reason, though, for you to flat out totally disregard everything else about the show before having even seen it. Because they didn't have the same artistic vision as you. Now, this isn't to say that I'm defending the show. Iron Fist was a terrible show by its own merits. But it was terrible because it was a terrible show. Not because of the fact that Danny Rand wasn't Asian. They, they chose their artistic route. They went with it, but they didn't execute it. That, that's basically the difference that I'm talking about here. My issue that I have with certain people and certain articles and certain companies that review things is that they will say, not how did they execute it, they'll say, why did they execute this? If that makes sense. I don't know, I feel like I've been rambling on for a long time. and I don't really know if I got my point across very well, but I don't know. I hope I hope uh, I hope I got my message across. I hope you you can understand where I'm coming from. I'm sure I'll have plenty of videos to elaborate on what I was trying to say because I like to do this more often. You know, I like to do uh, I like to do more commentary videos like this and give my opinions on things. And I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hey, uh, hey, Clayton, you suck. Nobody cares about your opinion. Go back to playing video games. Also, you suck at video games. Stop playing video games. Well, that was that was just hurtful. Oh, fuck. Apparently, it's garbage day. Saturday at uh, one p.m. I feel like this has taken so much time that they've dumped the trash, scooped it back out, and then dumped it again. Maybe they're trying to mix it up like a fucking trash salad. 